Hey guys, what's going on? Jay Stinger back here again on the House of Horror. Today I'm going to be talking about The Prince of Darkness from 1987. This is directed by John Carpenter and written by Martin Quartermass. It stars Donald Pleasance, Lisa Blunt, Jameson Parker, Victor Wong. Just a great ensemble cast in this one. And this is the new Scream Factory Blu-ray. Uh, I've had this one for a couple weeks and finally got a chance to watch it. And... Um, yeah, if you, if you haven't seen this movie, definitely go check it out. It was always one of my favorites on uh, VHS. I used to rent it all the time. And it, it actually used to creep me out quite a bit. Um, but, yeah, basic plot of this film is uh, an old priest dies, and he was from an ancient sect. And uh, they, they give this key to Donald Pleasance, and it actually goes to the basement of this church. And they go in there, and it's this big vat of green liquid, that, but they don't exactly know what it is. So... He goes to the local college, which happens to be USC, and gets uh, Victor Wong, plays Professor Howard Barak, and uh, he gets a bunch of his students, and they go into this church to start doing research on exactly what this green stuff is. And, you know, immediately weird stuff starts to happen. All the homeless people start to congregate around the church, the local homeless people, and uh, <laughs> Alice Cooper happens to be one of these people. <clears throat> and... Uh, yeah, you know, they get in there and immediately, you know, weird stuff starts to happen and, you know, a few of the people, a few of the students start to, uh, you know, be killed by various uh, reasons. Usually it's the homeless people killing them. And, uh, yeah, you know, they uh, get in there and what you, uh, you know, eventually find out is the green liquid is going to produce this, the uh, son of Satan, the prince of darkness. He's going to come into the physical world and then, you know, eventually bring his father into the physical world causing uh in armageddon the end of days whatever you want to call it um so that's that's the basic deal of what's going on here um but yeah this i really think that uh the the score is one of the better things about this movie it, it's really thumping throughout the whole the whole movie you know john carpenter is known for his scores and this is no different he uh, i believe someone co-scored this with him and uh, yeah, it does a great job. Uh, I want to talk about the special features on this disc. It's uh, just chock full of special features. It's uh, of course it's got the old commentary from the old DVD, which is out of date. That's from like 2001. And uh, I watched about half the movie with the commentary, and I wouldn't really. Uh, I think I'd listened to it before, but like like a lot of John Carpenter's commentaries, they're not very good. And that they're not very, I mean, they don't really give you a whole lot of background information. It's a lot of, well, I think this happened and I think that happened. And, you know, it's it was him and, and one of the actors. And uh, he, they, they were basically going back and forth about what actually was the, was the case of, you know, the filming locations or the, you know, various things in the film. And, you know, I don't think either one of them exactly remembered all that well, considering that was, you know... 20 plus years from uh, when the commentary was recorded so uh, the commentary is not very good on this one but it's uh, got a new interview with John Carpenter it's like 15 minutes long got a new interview with Alice Cooper it's got uh, a horror's hallow ground with Sean Clark which is really good really funny I really enjoyed that and uh, yeah, it's got some more special features I don't think are listed on here but uh, yeah Really, really great disc. I recommend you guys picking this up. If you haven't seen this movie, definitely go check it out. It's uh, one of my favorites from Carpenter, and it's it's just uh, you know holds a special place in my heart. And uh, yeah, check it out. I'm trying to think of something else to say about this movie, but other than uh, go watch it, check it out, and uh, it's got some really memorable characters. The with the people when they start turning into to, to zombies, you know, they, they get the green liquid squirted in their face one way or the other. Uh, really, really, uh, you know, memorable zombies. I know the guy, uh, let's see if I get his name right here, is uh, uh, Jesse Lawrence Ferguson plays Calder. And he, he gets uh, possessed and just really, really freaky dude. Like he... Uh, there's one point where he's singing Amazing Grace, like pulling a chair up the stairs and just really bizarre. He gets his uh, neck cut and just, you know, he dies and comes back to life. And, uh, or 
is is possessed and they kill him and he comes back to life and then he's like even more freaky and his one is one scene where he's like staring into a mirror for like an hour and just like I don't know he does a a, a great performance there but yeah great great acting by all the guys in this movie and uh, you know just a, just a solid movie all around I'd say um, check it out if you guys have seen it let me know what you think I'm trying to uh, I think I have some other stuff to say about this movie, but it's not really coming to me right now. But check it out. Thanks for watching. Peace.